All right. Oh, yuck. Ah, 6 p.m. coffee. Nothing like a 6 p.m. coffee to fix my all-day anxiety. <laughs> this is the video. Hey, how are ya? And welcome back to another YouTube video. My name's Jacob Andrew Sharp, and today, well, this one's a doozy. Okay? There's nuggets in here. There's always nuggets in my videos, gang. So just subscribe. Go press that little subscribe button with your little mouse. But take your little pet mouse and press that subscribe button. You're gonna have nuggets for the rest of your life. Because that's what I offer, okay? I offer a lifetime supply of nuggets. So just subscribe, please. Just do it. And the nuggets we're looking at today are toxic men with bad facial hair. In a series I like to call making fun of grown men for internet content. And the grown men we're gonna be making fun of in today's video are the Moonshine Bandits. That's not a silly name I made up for them. That's the real name that they decided to go with. The Moonshine Bandits are a country rock rap group, and the band consists of two members. We have Dusty Tex Dahlgren. Dahlgren? Sure. Dusty Tex Dahlgren. Oh, yeah. And Brett Bird Brooks. <laughs> I can't believe I just said those two names so seriously. Their nicknames are what I like the best. Tex and Bird. Also, which person has ever thought that being called Bird is like a cool nickname? That's why back in high school I went by Jacob Chickadee Sharp. The best way to describe this band is imagine if your dad and your uncle tried to revive 90s rap rock, but by fusing it with country. That's what the Moonshine Bandits are. They're the dirty goatee on country music's face. They're gonna turn my limp biscuit into a hard biscuit, if you know what I mean, gang. Like, these guys are the epitome of dad rock. I know that every time, like, someone's uncle hears this type of music, they think they look cool. They see these guys and they go, oh yeah, that, this is what I'm going for. Whenever your uncle takes, like, a below the chin selfie for Facebook, he thinks that like, he looks like these guys in the video, which he does, but he thinks that he also looks good. Dear uncles, you don't look good. You're all one anti-vax post away from being banned from being online. So everyone strap on your New Balance sneakers and let's take a look at the Moonshine Bandits. I'm gonna take a look at their music and their lyrics and their videos, but I won't be playing their music because when you play music that's online, YouTube gets a little pissed off and they take away all your money. Also, whenever I come into a video with something crazy like this, usually I'm like putting my algorithm at risk, trying to find this stuff to make videos for you guys. But uh, I didn't have to put myself at risk today. I was sent the Moonshine Bandits from my dad. I don't know if any of you remember the video I did on vaccine conspiracies, but my dad, Giles Andrew Philip Sharp, was a part of it. He just wants to keep the content train rolling. Giles, you sent us a crazy one. Also, I like that my dad sent me this to make fun of. When you have a dad that looks like mine, you would think that he's just sending you this to be like, aren't these guys the best? So let's take a look at one of their most popular songs, We All Country. So this is featuring Colt Ford, Sarah Ross, and Demon Jones. Okay, so that's Demon Jones, Sarah Ross, and let's see who Colt Ford is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a Colt Ford if I've ever seen one. So let's bring up the lyrics. East coast, west coast, it's all country. Dirty south, midwest, it's all country. Leave the city, go out back into the country. We're all country. From the first breath alive, we're all country. Until the day that we die, we're all country. So hop in your ride and get back to the country. Back to the country. Okay, the scene is set. We're a bunch of country people. We're hanging out back. East coast to west coast, we are all country. Like, it's just just the most amount of white people. I'm waiting for someone to do like a quick shot of like all the macaroni salads that are just placed beside those old trucks. West Coast renegade, kill a Cali outlaw. Wild West king like Colt in the South, y'all. Cash tattoo with the flat bill flip. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, just have some skinny kid and then like his dad trying to light a cigarette behind me. The most country thing of all time. Clutching on my whiskey like a pistol grip. I'm like John Wayne with the gauge. I ain't walking the line. I've got my trigger finger itchy off a bottle of shine. Cause we're shooting clay pigeons from the bed of the from the bed of a step side. Bumping Dwight Yoakum out the window yelling west side. Spinning like a wagon wheel mama come and rock me. All the ladies love me. I'm a cold ass honky. Hook him like a booger every time that I spit one. <laughs> Hook him like a booger? Nope, that's, I'm trying to figure out if I, if I miss something there. It just says, hook him like a booger. I don't know what that is supposed to mean. I'm on Genius to like look at the lyrics and there's no like highlighted lyrics from Genius because even Genius.com is like, we don't really know what this is or what they're talking about. These guys love picking their boogies and spitting them on the ground. Yeah, we all country no matter where you fish from. <sighs> It doesn't matter where you fish from. Okay, so they're trying to be inclusive. Now, I'm just throwing this out there that maybe, just maybe, by looking at everyone in this video, they might not be the most inclusive group on the planet. Maybe it's the soul patches. Maybe it's the jean shirt with the American flag with the sleeves cut off. I don't know. I was born to be baptized in blue collar blood. Now with pumps through my veins as I stomp through the mud. Through the 50 different states, the people's all the same. Just different faces, the shine still burn in flames. It's so contagious, this country rap thing. Now all these pop artists riding in my lane now. Oh uh, geez, Travis Barker got old, huh? Ugh. I know right now that they're trying to catch the people who caused the US insurrection of the Capitol building. This is maybe just a hunch, but I feel like the guys you're looking for are in this video. This is like an anthem for anti-vax people. See me on the YouTube with a million views. See, they think that they can do everything that we do. I've been certified, country fried, spent since 99. Homicide with the rhymes, mad cause I lived a life. So, okay, so federal crime with rhyming words together, sure. Yeah, I don't think anyone's been arrested for, uh, for rhyming. There's never been a judge to sentence someone to a life in prison because they rhymed cat with hat. Y'all my kinfolk, it's our time to shine. American outlaws, since birth we ride. <laughs> These guys got bars. These guys are like the white Ray Shremard. You know, if Ray Shremard were in their 40s and had wicked back pain. I'm trying to think of what I can name the genre. So maybe I'll spend the duration of the video thinking of what genre this is. Right now, I think this could be called like dirt bike rap. We don't need to dive into Holt Ford and Sarah Ross, even though Sarah Ross gives us this unbelievable line. These guys aren't pandering at all. You know, at the end of the day, I have to recognize that, you know, we are all country. Well, back to the country. We're all country. You nailed every type of person that would listen to this music. This couple right here, these guys are country. You could show this couple for any like 16 and pregnant ad and you would be like, Tyler and Amanda are having trouble navigating grade 12. But that's because they just had their third set of triplets. Stay tuned for more MTV's We All Country. <laughs> Okay, so now let's look at some of the comments on this video. This is the best song of all time at Moonshine Bandits and Colt Ford killed it. At Sarah Ross is the best female country rapper in the game, but that's because she also might be the only female rap country artist. I mean, until Cardi B comes out with that country Western album we've been all waiting for. These are red bottoms. These are country boots. I'm totally hooked on this new age music. These are some badass country boys. And then it just gets kind of creepy because it's just a bunch of guys talking about how hot Sarah is. All right, so now we're gonna look at uh, another really popular song by the Moonshine Bandits, Red, White, and Boozed, also featuring Colt Ford. Straw hats, flip-flops, coolers and brews, tan lines, tattoos. Yeah, she's red, white, and boozed. Sunshine, good times, tied up pontoons, tan lines, tattoos. Yeah, she's red, white, and boozed. <laughs> You know, brace yourselves. This video is going to be overly sexual and uh, it's wicked uncomfortable because I just don't love watching white people trying to twerk. <laughs> 
Right away, I just think that they're talking about like what they want to wear in the summertime. Dusty and Brett getting ready for their summer day and they're like, what are we gonna wear on this beautiful summer day? Well, we've got to have our straw hats. We've got to have our flip flops and we've got to have our tan lines too. They're just describing what it's like to be a middle-aged man in the summer. Like this has to be male fragility at its finest. The connection to like American pride with trying to also be like so hyper masculine with like talking about women in such a derogatory way. She's red, white, and boozed. What's with so many country songs just talking about how girls need to be drunk? Uh, do you guys know the song like rain makes corn, corn makes whiskey, whiskey makes my baby feel a little frisky? Just a song about blatantly trying to get someone drunk so they'll have sex with you. So far, everyone that I've seen in these videos, they seem like the kind of guys to treat women like that. So here comes, I think, Texas verse? I don't know, I can't tell the difference between the two of them at this point. Got the whole boat bouncing like a trampoline. Light up the stash like it's gasoline. Boom boom like the fourth. Uncle Sam and lit like a fire on a sandy beach. Ain't no lightweight, does it the right way. Post Malone, I got another Bud Light race. Tats on her back getting high and sideways. The tan on her thighs still bright like light rays. Make them waves when the Spotify plays. In your black bikini and your black fly shades. Show the rest of the world how you love to get loose. All American girl, red, white, and boozed. Oh no. If I asked some like middle-aged dude to write poetry, this is probably the best he could come up with. Like for sure someone's like racist grandfather was like, that is a good piece of poetry. Their record label was like, mention Post Malone and Spotify so some of these like young girls in the video can understand it. And then we move on to Colt Ford's verse. That's uh, that's John Daly. That's straight up golf legend John Daly. That's piece of shit, John Daly. If any of you don't know who John Daly is, John Daly is a professional golfer that would just smoke cigarettes and get super duper drunk while playing golf. And it makes me so happy that he had no problem being in this video. This is another option for uh, the type of genre this music is. This whole genre is just John Daly. John Daly smoking a cigarette, having a beer, and taking a huge swing at a golf ball. It's so funny that he did that in golf because it just proves that golf is a sport that just someone's fucking drunk dad could be the best at. Look at little mama, she got a little drama. Hold on, Colt Ford, that is that is just straight up a Fergie rhyme. That is straight up a, a line from Fergalicious. It's like something I'm gonna round up some drama, little mama, I don't wanna take your man. Colt Ford, you are the Fergie of the moonshine bandits. Now hop on your big booty in the super duty. We gonna take it to the lake for the day. Then later on tonight, we all gonna get right, fire up the green, call up the team might see some things you ain't never seen like what three girls playing twister naked whoa heard birds say i can't take it tech screaming out shake it shake it okay so right now colt ford has stolen two things from like 2008 he stole fergalicious and now he's stealing shake it from metro station shame on you colt ford shame on you they're red, white, and boozed. Okay, this song has to be about getting drunk in the summer, falling asleep, and getting a sunburn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did it say, was that a MAGA shirt? Make America real again. So a Mara shirt. I'm sorry, guys, but you might be the most fake pieces of shit I've ever seen. These two guys walk the fine line of being like blue collar baiting. And uh, what I'm referencing is the, uh, the song Pandering by Bo Burnham, which talks about country music artists using like, you know, buzzwords to basically bait hardworking people into like relating to their music and then ultimately selling more records. Yeah, both these guys are from California and then they decided to start this blue collar country rock rap group. Now I'm sure there's a demographic of Californians that are true moonshine bandits like these guys. You know, I'm sure there's uh, there's some hardworking tech bros out there that are trying to make a dating app for John Deere tractors. I'm sure there's like those dudes who are super into crypto and they're trying to get people to invest in their like grassroots coin called like Dogecoin. I don't want to, you know, just uh, generalize California, you know, because guys, you got to remember 
We all country. It's super unfair for me to say that there aren't moonshine bandits in California. Don't worry, there's pieces of shit people all over the world. Trust me, I would know. I grew up with people who had the Confederate flag tattooed on their body. And what did I do? Well, I moved away. And that's what this band is. I feel like they moved out of California because they couldn't be moonshine bandits in Silicon Valley. So they went wherever they could sell their nonsense music that is totally pandering to working class people. I just have a hunch these two guys aren't as country as they say they are. They're not as blue collar as they say they are. If you are so blue collar, do you have to always talk about it? I just feel like it's like the least blue collar thing to make a music video to prove how blue collar you are. Once you sign a record deal, I don't think you're blue collar anymore. They perfectly like represent everything I don't like about my anti-vax family, which is just about everything. You know, I've been pretty harsh on the moonshine bandits. I know I made jokes that they are also like they're older and they're they're not with the times, but I was wrong. These guys have a TikTok account. So let's take a look at some Moonshine Bandit TikToks. Fucking beyond belief, you guys. The energy's beyond belief. The line is fucking crazy. I can't believe I got in here just now. Listen, Listen to it right now. Listen. Yeah. Oh no, just a bunch of white folks having a good time. Big honky tonk vibes. I mean, I'm just happy there's people that love their music. People showed up to the concert. It looks like it's almost sold out. That That's great. Even though the crowd probably reeks of old egg sap. And their crowds constantly just look like a wedding reception for a biker gang. Um, let's see what else we can find. <laughs> now that's a big truck. What are the comments on this? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Bulldog82. Wow. Nothing says I've got a big truck like needing an elevator to get into your truck, which is just so country. I know that people can like make jokes that like, oh, like, haha, the guys with the big trucks have a small penis, which is true. Aww. But the people who have trucks this big, I want them to have a big penis, but not big in like in like a likable sense i mean like too big i mean like it's a medical problem for how big it is like it's so big that if they get an erection they'll lose all the blood in their body and die that TikTok was brought to you by death by boners straw hats flip-flops coolers and brews tan lines tattoos yeah she's red white and boozed sunshine good times tied up pontoons tan lines tattoos yeah she's red white and boozed oh it was dawn the whole time they were talking about donald trump that's what red white and boozed is all about oh it was about the president of the united states donald trump falling asleep in the sunshine because he had a little bit too much to drink and now he's got a sunburn. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I love to think about that this song is actually genuinely about them just like loving what Donald Trump wears in the summertime. Ooh. Sweet, sexy Don. And the rest of their TikTok is just filled with, you know, butts and cigars and whiskey and I just I'm whited out. I'm 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 absolutely beat from all the white nonsense we've taken a look at today. And I know there's gonna be some people in the comments being like take the monkey being a little racist towards white people. They're just just shut up. If you had uncles like mine you would know where I'm coming from, okay? So that's the end of the video guys. Maybe you know just go take a look at, at some of Moonshine Bandit's content. You know give it a like give it a chance because at the 
end of the day, you have to remember, we are country. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the nuggets. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like the video. Because subscribing to videos by Jacob Andrew Sharp guarantees you a lifetime supply of nuggets. All right, guys, I got to go to bed because I am red, white, and boozed. Okay, bye. Oh, gross.